Okay, we're demonstrating the functional reach or the running man exercise as we call it. This exercise was made famous by Gray Cook. It's basically a full body exercise that incorporates strength of the plant leg. In this case, you see Beth's front leg, the right leg, is performing a single leg squat. It's also flexibility of the back leg hip flexor, and most importantly, it's incorporating balance. So what we'll notice is, Beth, go back to the starting position. What we're gonna have her do is she's gonna pick up one leg and the opposing arm, so a running position. Now she brings the leg back and slightly across her body. So essentially, if she was standing in the middle of a clock, she's stepping back to five o'clock in this instance, not directly back to six o'clock. The reason we wanna do that is as she reaches back, she's gonna feel the muscle on the outside of her right hip, right where her right hand is, the glute medius having to work. If she goes straight back, we don't fire the glute medius, we just fire the quadriceps and the hamstrings. So what we want is a nice reach back and across her body, exactly. So, a couple things we want to notice. One, when she goes down into the functional reach, her torso forms a hinge with the back leg, so it's almost in a straight line. What we don't want to see is have her reaching back and her body straight, straight up, okay? We want to see that nice athletic lean as she reaches back. Second, notice that every time she goes back, she's planting the foot into the ground, planting the ball of the foot into the ground. When this gets comfortable for her, the more athletic position is to go back and not touch the floor. This is highly athletic. It's incorporating balance and there's a lot of functionality in the front leg when she does this. Okay, so Beth, let's have you go ahead and face me straight. So looking at it from the front, she's gonna bring the leg up, arm, opposing arm. She's gonna reach back and slightly across her body. Okay, so you see how that looks. Let's have you go straight back this time. So straight back is okay, but it's not really our desired movement. In addition, let's go back to the side a little bit. When Beth goes back, we notice that she reaches back, good, and she's over that front leg. What I don't want to see her do is lean back as she does the functional reach, where now she has no balance and her front leg isn't working nearly as much. So again, the exercise is up, down, and back across her body, nice and athletic. When she gets comfortable with that, she can go back and not touch the floor and back up. The functional reach is going to be done for two sets of 25 repetitions on both the right and left leg, working up to being able to go back and not touch the floor. It is perfectly acceptable to mix and match. You can go back a little bit, you can go back a lot, you can go back and not touch the floor. There's really no particular number that she needs to hit. It's just that she wants to get high reps and mix it up. Again, this is the functional reach exercise or the running man.